Here he comes. Ready, 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 ready. There you go. Oh, I'm fitting late on him. Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Guys, 343 dropped a surprise Halo Infinite update today. Squad Battle has come to Halo Infinite, a mode that was in Halo 3 all the way back in 2007. It was a ranked playlist and is now returned to Halo Infinite. 343 said if you find Big Team Battle too chaotic at 12v12, but 4v4 is just not enough, then let us introduce you to the new Squad Battle playlist. Resembling the BTB of old, Squad Battle pits 8vA mix of Slayer and Objective modes on community-made maps that lend themselves well to both infantry and vehicular combat. Some might even look a little familiar to Halo veterans. And yes, that is what the big surprise is. If you haven't been able to tell by the gameplay you're already watching on screen, Valhalla Last Resort and Rat's Nest, all from Halo 3, have made their way into matchmaking. We finally have forged maps in matchmaking on Halo Infinite. Now, we had no idea this was going to come out. None. And it was such a huge shock this morning because we've got the MCC update coming out today. We've had all this news coming out about the game. We've had Season 4. We've had regular updates. We're getting a lot of content. This is great. And I gotta say, I had so much fun playing. All three maps play very, very well. My favorite, of course, is Valhalla renamed Valheim. I was going to cover it in an upcoming Forge video, but now that water is out in Forge, it feels like a very faithful version to the original. The other two maps, Last Resort and Rat's Nest, the only bad thing about Last Resort is the wheel doesn't spin. Forge can't currently do that, but I'm hoping in the future it will be able to. We also covered Cusini Bay, which is the Last Resort remake, in a Forge video a couple months ago. In that video, I said, please 343, consider an 8v8 playlist. Consider different playlist options that people might enjoy. And I'm so glad they took that feedback on board because wow, I saw so many positive comments, even on my video from yesterday, from you guys saying, Remy, please try this out. Make a video about the new playlist. And it's just straight up fun. There's no Pelican drops, straight classic BTB, that you remember from past Halo games. Infinite Sandbox cranks that up to 11, and with the grapple hook, the repulsor, you get to spawn in with tanks, it rotates between a Wraith and a Scorpion. It's a lot of fun for everyone. It's also really good because these maps fit vehicles. I talked about Scar, the new big team battle map, being more infantry based. These maps are more of a mix, and people are really going to enjoy that. We're starting to see some really good balance in the experiences offered on Halo Infinite. There was even a 343 dev on Twitter asking about multi-team, Say, what kind of multi-team do you want to see? So then we'll have BTB, we'll have 4v4, we'll have the 8v8 squad battle playlist, potentially multi-team, infection, and then I would love a permanent free-for-all spot. You add in Super Fiesta, that's almost every single mode that we had in past Halo games. That is fantastic. It took a long time to get there, don't get me wrong, but the experience is high quality. You can play a whole variety of things, and that's great. Now, if you would like to try any of these maps, I have linked the bookmarks in the description of this video. The new playlist supports up to four player local split screen. The regular big team battle playlist only supports two. So it's really good that 343 is like, oh, wow, friends who hang out might want to play four people on Xbox and search the new BTB playlist, or I should say squad battle now. So I'm really glad that they did that. And finally, the available modes you can get in the playlist is Slayer, King of the Hill, Capture the Flag, Total Control, and One Flag CTF, which is a classic, on Last Resort. It's funny that Rat's Nest is actually five captures, not three. I was skeptical about that at first, thinking games wouldn't end, but it actually plays to the score really well. The flag captures are very quick. It's always awesome to run the flag in a goose or a hog. And it was so nice to see all the positive feedback, people just having fun, because that's what Halo is about. That's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. We get the new MCC update today, and then we get the new modding stuff a couple days later. It is a great week for Halo already, and it's just getting started. So jump into the new playlist. Let me know what you think if you have played it already. I had a lot of fun today. Got a lot of content, but for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.